Hey, this is Yulia and welcome to my channel. Here I talk all things learning languages, travel in the world, and today we'll be talking about Lisbon. Or rather, prices in Lisbon. How much money do we spend in a month living in Portugal, in Lisbon? Many of you know that I complain a lot about prices here in Lisbon. Because honestly, when we were moving to Portugal, people were telling us, oh, Lisbon is so cheap, Portugal is so cheap, everything is like... Mwah. Let's talk about prices in Lisbon. They are not that cheap at all. Thing number one is our apartment. Our apartment is around 90 square meters. It's a two-bedroom apartment. We have the living room, the office, the bedroom. We have three bathrooms because there were two apartments on the floor but then they decided to combine everything and have just one so that's why we have three bathrooms now i mean we use one as a storage we have a metro station literally i think three minutes from our place walking the apartment is located 10 minutes driving 20 minutes walking from downtown lisbon so from the old lisbon which is kind of central, and we pay 1250 euros per month. This is crazy. For this amount of money in Montreal, you can rent a condo downtown Montreal. Here, you only have the apartment, no AC, no heating, no gym, no pool, nothing, just the apartment. And it is considered a good price, which still drives me nuts, because we had a budget of 1500 we couldn't find a single one. Like, it was crazy. We found a couple of apartments, but they were like, for one person. So, 1250 it is. As for the utilities, utilities are not included in the rent, so we pay 12 euros per month for the water. We use it normally, no, you know, turn on, turn off, wash the hair, wash the body. We didn't do that. We used it as we did in Canada. As for electricity, meaning hydro, we paid 58 euros. I think it's a bit expensive, but people say in winter when you start using all the, you know, heating and like humidifiers, dehumidifiers kind of thing, the prices will go up and you might pay up to 200 euros per month for the electricity. But I'll keep you guys updated because it's not fun, not fun. The next thing is internet, TV, cell phones. And here we have a deal. So we have cable, we have internet, we have two cell phones, I mean like SIM cards, and we pay 80 euros per month. I personally think it's a good price because for 80 euros you get a lot of stuff. Unfortunately here in Lisbon and Portugal you cannot like split things up and be like, I want just this and that, because we wanted just the internet. And they were like, oh, the internet only comes with like a TV package. But we were like, oh, but we don't watch TV. And they're like, oh, well, I mean, and they were like, mm, you can't do anything about it. So now we have TV for some reason, but I guess I'll use it to practice my Portuguese. We also got the private insurance here in Portugal because A, we needed it for the immigration. B, we decided to kind of, you know, protect ourselves in case something happens. We don't know the Portuguese health care system. So for the insurance, we pay 130 euros per month. Here in Portugal, you have free medical care, you have private, but as everywhere, free medical care might take a lot of time. Private insurance kind of covers all the stuff. So if anything happens, I'll need to, you know, do something with my teeth. I can always go and do it like right away. Another category here is food. So unfortunately the bank app we're using is not that technological and it doesn't have categories and counting every single transaction to give you the exact number would be a waste of time. I'm sorry, but I'll give you a breakdown of prices like what can you expect when going to lisbon when moving to lisbon so if you go out for a brunch or breakfast i would say 10 euros per person is a perfect price you can always get extra stuff and pay like 12 13 euros but 10 even like seven so we went out yesterday and we paid i think six euros for scrambled eggs and the coffee was like two euros so eight in total meaning you can always find cheaper places as for the lunch and dinner i would say the prices start at like 15 euros per main dish a whole plate of i don't know food seafood might cost you like 15 17 euros as for the wine 
this is the best part when you go to a restaurant a bottle of wine might cost you anywhere from like 10 12 euros till 30 i think 30 would be like the most expensive they have in canada the cheapest one would be 30 euros not euros but like bucks so for a glass of wine you can pay anything from two to four euros maybe five if it's something super like unique or whatsoever but like three four euros for a glass of wine bellissimo as for the transportation the bus slash metro costs one euro and fifty cents but uber will cost you three four euros so we used to take metro and buses but then we're like we just spend more money on the buses rather than on uber so now we just take uber there are also yellow trams in lisbon first thing they cost three euros 80 cents second thing i feel like locals never take it because it's expensive and there are a lot of people on the trams what else what else so i'm not counting here any like stuff we buy for the apartment because the first month we've spent i don't know thousands on sofas and like you know screens and like uh, vacuum cleaners the next month this one like october we didn't spend anything we didn't buy anything so it fluctuates from month to month but another thing we actually spend money on is our baby cat his food like one of those will cost you 60 70 cents the dry food we get him is around 17 euros and the litter is six euros so the bags are i don't know two kilograms i think so you might want to divide this price in two or three because he's not gonna eat the whole pack in like a month or so so let's say we pay 16 euros per pack meaning it's around five euros per month because the bag will last him three months as for the beauty stuff i got my nails done and i pay around 30 euros for a manicure with gel the thing is there are cheaper salons i went to a russian one because the quality is amazing but you can always find local salons you can go to like i think brazilian ladies do manicure as well like gel manicure so anywhere from 20 to 30 for a manicure good as for pedicure i think i paid 35 37 also with the gel but again you can find cheaper ones i would say 30 to 35 is considered okay here in lisbon i also got a haircut and i think i paid around 30 euros which is not bad at all in canada the beauty industry is like crazy you pay so much money for everything i believe this is it for today i hope the video was helpful if i missed something maybe you want to know how much does potato cost in portugal you can always ask me in the comment section down below and i'll see you very soon bye